Oh, and Robert Thomas, hello. Hi. And your pun name. My pun name is, it's pun Robert, pun Robert, pun, pun, pun. Very good. Good, they know the song. Uh, I saw Keith Harris hanging out with the head of a university. It was Orville and Dean. <laughs> that was good. That yeah. floored me. Oh. That wasn't that one. No, that was good. <laughs> okay. Well done. <laughs> All in a spin. Okay. Did you say an extra thing there? <laughs> I may have done. The wrong lights are on. The blue lights are on. Sorry. Come on, Rob. I had a go at speed skating, but it didn't matter how much I took. I still wasn't any good. <laughs> oh, it's a drug reference. <laughs> Everybody likes drugs. I mean, children, nobody likes drugs. Uh, when I last ice skated, I jumped into the air and went... Yes, it was my triple Axel F. Oh! <laughs> oh, so much information in one pun. I used to do figure skating to classical music. Did my bark in. Oh! oh. I watched the Winter Olympics on my laptop, sat on the toilet, so I wasn't the only one curling one out. Oh! A chap at my party asked if we had any mulled wine. I asked him to give me a few minutes to think about it. Oh. And then I gave him some wine. I once did an experiment into the effects of alcohol. The result was staggering. <laughs> I like my whiskey like I like my underwear drawer and my marriage. Neat. Yes! And on the rocks. Oh! Your poor wife. Yeah, that underwear drawer. <laughs> okay, um, I've decided that if I ever own a pub, I'm going to call it The Sword, so that anyone who lives by it has to die by it. <laughs> Whenever I play football, I get sent off because of my 24-inch penis. I didn't realise there was a rule against a two-foot tackle. Oh! 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 Thor! <laughs> Jesus Christ! Oh! Proper fight there! Do you know there's a league for women? Oh! Oh, wrong sound effect. Who don't shave themselves much. Thatch of the day. Oh! I played on a football team for fictional animals. Getting the ball to Paddington and Winnie the Pooh. But, you know, we all have our crosses to bears. 
Oh! What a football joke. All footballers can get depression, but only strikers can get clinical depression. Yeah, tricky, tricky one. <laughs> uh, the council removed the goals from our local football pitch and replaced them with a couple of dead rabbits. Yay! Thumpers for goalposts. <laughs> You know, fair play to those people who try and teach the blind to catch footballs. You've got to hand it to them. <laughs> and if you've heard, but J.K. Rowling has uh, created a new musical about a Welsh heating engineer who does a lot of drugs. It's called Parry Hotter and the Stoner's Philosophy. <laughs> Uh, I saw a musical about a chicken in a mask that goes around singing, Bantam of the Opera. <laughs> <laughs> there are many famous duets in musicals, although I think that nowadays we're supposed to call them female Jews. <laughs> <laughs> My favourite musical is the one about a woman with no depth perception, Miss Igon. <laughs> a, uh, a thief stole my award-winning pig and they also stole my bike, but eventually they felt sorry and they gave my saddle back. <laughs> and the other parts of the bike as well, but... <laughs> uh, Kermit the Frog stopped dating Miss Piggy after she developed eczema. Put him right off pork scratchings. <laughs> <laughs> I saw some Welsh pigs the other day shouting, Hoggy, Hoggy, Hoggy! That's it. Apparently, R. Kelly loves prime beef steak and pork fat, which is fine, because I don't see nothing wrong with a little rump and rind. Oh! <laughs> uh, Manchester City's 7-2 victory over Stoke has been nominated for Best Original Score. <laughs> That reminds me, actually, I'm hoping that my documentary about diarrhoea will uh, run away with best motion picture. Oh. I, um, I obviously, I like puns, and so I actually named, I've got three kids, I named them in connection with the movie industry. So I've got my youngest, Oscar. <laughs> uh, then my middle daughter, Emmy. Um, and actually, this reminds me, I've got to pick up BAFTA. from his anti-bullying session, it'll be fine. <laughs> be fine. When they presented the Oscar for Best Bottom, they insisted on the winner delivering two acceptance peaches. <laughs> <laughs> uh, wouldn't it be weird if the film I Know What You Did Last Summer was about twisting again? <laughs> I like that. I knew what that was. Uh, do you know what Keith Vaz's favourite nursery rhyme is? <laughs> Brown folders, sleaze and hose, sleaze and hose. Oh. Brown folders, sleaze and hose. A lot of knowledge. A lot of local knowledge there. Uh, I tried to think of a pun about the football club, but have Vardy got anything to say? Scored the other day. There's plenty Mares where that came from. Yeah. Oh! <laughs> we had enough yet? <laughs> or Shinji stop now? Uh, my mum's a Leicester City fan, and when Leicester City won the league, she bought a sort of fancy candle to celebrate. But to be honest, now it just languishes in the middle of the table. Oh! <laughs> 
factual. Who haven't I mentioned? Yeah, when it comes to the Leicester goalkeeper, I cast a spell over you. Is that it? I thought whatever I was going to say into this Schmeichel blow your mind. But it didn't. <laughs> oh, for Fox's sake. Oh! oh. Um, I was desperate to do some wordplay with the name uh, Vishai Srivadhanaprabha. Uh, if you don't know who Vishai Srivadhanaprabha is, he's uh, one of the owners of Leicester City. And anyway, I was... I saw Vish, Vishai Srivadhanaprabha <laughs> and... I was staring, I was staring at Vishai... <laughs> I was staring at Vishai Srivadhanaprabha <laughs> and I just thought to myself, I'm not going to win this game of Scrabble. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think that this Brexit process has been like a catheter for Britain, because uh, when we leave, we'll no longer be incontinent. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> uh, I went to this place in Brussels, and all I could hear was... <laughs> Yeah, it was the uh, European Court of Human Rights. Oh! <laughs> um, I think that um, the, the word Brexit is already kind of a pun, because what they've done is they've combined the word exit and they've taken a bit of Britain and put it together to make a new word. And um, we've actually just done the same technique in our house. My wife and I have just had a referendum on sexit. <laughs> That's very much... Very much in the Remain camp. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Sex, it sounds like the withdrawal method. Oh! <laughs> the problem is I was outvoted by my wife <laughs> and some guy from down the gym. But um... <laughs> <laughs> I think that you can tell a lot about the various politicians involved in Brexit by their initials. For example, Gordon Brown, GB. He was like a staunch defender of the Great British Union, wasn't he? And we've got Theresa May, TM, like she wants to sort of make a trademark for herself. And I'm just glad, uh, as our foreign affair minister, that we've got Boris Johnson. <laughs> um, I keep hearing that uh, ministers have been meeting with Davros. <laughs> Black Stamina! <laughs> Uh, my parents were fitness freaks. If I misbehaved, they made me do naughty step aerobics. <laughs> one, per one person. <laughs> Thanks, Dad. Uh, my favourite kind of active wear brand is Nike's Dry Fit, because everyone wearing it isn't isn't. <laughs> Um, I, was, uh, I was exercising my dog. I, I threw a stick three miles and my dog actually brought it back to me. I know, a little bit far-fetched. <laughs> <laughs> um, as a subscriber to Slipped Disc Monthly, I've got a lot of back issues. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Next. Yeah, I really regret calling my fitness business Jim will fix it. <laughs> oh! <laughs> um, I used to have a job uh, gluing together hula hoops, you know, just to, just to make ends meet. <laughs> After recent revelations that 10,000 steps a day doesn't particularly improve your fitness. Public Health England are drawing up a new target with the help of the proclaimers. You <laughs> <laughs> okay. can do the thing, ladies and gentlemen, the winner and the champion of the UK World Champions is Paul Robert Burrow and Bob Can we have our crown and a really expensive bottle of champagne? Here's your crown, Paul Robert. Hop it on. Take the champagne! And well 
Well done to our other contestants. Let's bring all the contestants back in. Give them a round of applause, ladies and gentlemen, wherever they are. Here they are. Well done to Robert Hardlock to put the MC. Second again. Thank you to the Age UK as well. Give them a round of applause. Our Nazi and his mother. People picking the ladies out here. The guy who killed somebody. Mr. Lovely Eyebrows. Give him a round of applause as well. Over this side, let's hear it for the lovely family over here. Give them a round of applause as well. And don't forget, of course, Rich and Lisa right down here. Well done, Rich. That's it, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for coming. We have our winner. Thanks, everyone. Thank oh you. Oh, my God. It's a fun event.